Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to another customer review from us. This time it is all about the Massey Ferguson Ideal 7 Combine single rotary model and to tell us all about it and how they've been getting on with it and the reasons why they've got it as well, we've got uh, Anna Massey. I mean, for a start off, I mean, your surname, I mean, was there any other combined choice, really, with the, you know, your surname Massey? It can't be, really, can No, there? it had you to know. be. Absolutely. That's and then, it. And then I married a fryer, so I made myself into Anna Massey Fryer to make it even nearer. So you're Anna future. MF now? I am. There Anna we go. MF, so yeah. you're just, you're strengthening that branding even more <laughs> Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Right, so, Absolutely. before we dive into the combine and sort of what you think of it, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your farming business, please. Okay, yeah, well, we're um, combinable farming are uh, combinable crop farmers, 500 acres, um, mainly producing milling wheat, um, seed crops which tend to be oats and wheat um, and spring barley and winter beans um, and then all seed rape uh, as an additional break crop. Um, so I th because we have always done seed crops for a, a, lo a long, long time really, um, that's probably been one of the reasons why we've always run, run our own combine. Yeah. Because um, you need to obviously make sure you've got it very clean. Clean down between, um, you know, different crops and things like that. So it's important you've got the control of it, really. <laughs> so that's kind of how owning, owning a com combine um, started, really. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much a necessity for you it guys. Is. Yeah, yeah. So whereabouts are we in the world? We are on the Derbyshire Staffordshire border at a place called Sudbury. Um, so nice part of the world, really. Absolutely, just certainly kind of, picturesque just you around start here. Start getting out. Probably we're on the borders, really, of arable farming. You just as you go, kind of slightly north, ten miles out to Ashbourne, you're then kind of heading into the Peak District. So, yeah, um, that's so it. It's really mixed around here in terms of farming, mixed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah um, very mixed. Um, but yeah, nice part of the world to be in. Okay, and what sort of soil types have you got as well? Soil types quite variable actually. So we do variable from you know really heavy clays um, down at the top end of the farm down to um, really really kind of sandy grounds um, down at the bottom end so we you know because we've got such large fields you can have massive variation from one end to the other so yeah it can be in just the one field in just yeah. one field so it can be quite challenging and do you do any sort of like contract farming or share farming or anything like that yeah or? we do um, which has kind of kind of really come about in the last 10 years um, I think because as I mentioned we, we've always owned a combine um, and I suppose people in the area, so situations change and um, people, um, there's one or two contractors that have, have changed what they were doing. So we just had one or two guys that came to us and said, you know, would you like to do our combining for us? Um, so over the last, I guess, probably, yeah, six years, we've taken on, we probably do somewhere in the region of another four or five hundred acres. Um, on top of ours. All right. Um, so we're heading towards around, uh, depending on people's cropping, about a thousand acres. Yeah. Um, a year. Right. So, yeah. Perfect. And harvest 2022. How's it going? I mean, we've been pretty. I would say spoilt with weather almost. Yeah, well, we have really, yeah. considering what we've had for the last few years in this part of the world. Anyway, I mean, it's, it can always be very different in different parts of the country, but certainly the last couple of years we've, we've had quite a hit and miss harvest. Uh, we tend to kind of get going around here and then we seem to have a spell in August which for two weeks or something like that that you know you don't move and then that puts the pressure on you. Um, so this is yeah it's been joyful really you, yeah. know, you just kind of uh, get up and every morning and think right let's go harvesting let's go and enjoy it. That's it. So so far so good I hope I haven't jinxed it. <laughs> That's it now it'll be go. raining this afternoon. Absolutely but right. um, yeah so yeah good we've been, we've been blessed with um, relatively good years in this part of the world. Um, especially on the stronger land, that's um, kind of retains a bit more moisture, and so the crops have been able to fill out well. So, yeah. so on the whole, yeah, I can't complain really. And um, the combine itself, this this Mass Ferguson Ideal Seven, you mentioned you've got thick end of a thousand acres to get through. Yep. Is has the combine got the capacity to do that? That was the major reason for for changing really, is that we were, as I said to you, we had a couple of catchy harvests. Um, and we were really struggling with the capacity, um, especially if there were big crops. Um, we were struggling with losses, um, so you were going to have to reduce your forward speed. Um, and we just felt incredibly under pressure. Mm. So um, we tried an Ideal 7 a couple of years ago, um, and that was the taster. And I think that probably didn't leave anyone's minds after trying right. it. 
Um, so we just wanted, as a, you know, if you've got a catchy harvest and you've got to get around your customers, we wanted to feel comfortable that we had the capacity if we needed it. Yeah. Um, and so far, so good. Perfect. Yeah. And obviously it's a Mass Ferguson Combine. Uh, do you have any other Massey Ferguson machines in the fleet? We do, we do, yeah. We've pretty much been Massey Ferguson for um, all my farming life. So um, we've got a 7724, um, which we're standing next to, which does the majority of the cultivation and drilling work. Um, we'd, we moved on to the Dyna VT gearboxes, or probably um, I gosh, maybe about 15 years ago. So we've got a good old 7480 um, as well, which um, is a good girl that we, yeah, we've hung <laughs> on to. I think she's come into up to about, she's probably 10 years old, I think now. Right. Um, so they're, they're the two tractors that we have, um, and obviously the combine now as well. So, That's yeah. it, and speak so, yeah. of the devil, Here it's, she comes. It, it's yeah, approaching. Yeah. Absolutely. So the combine itself, I mean, how long have you been running this one, this uh, Ideal 7? So this is this is the first season. This is the first yeah, season, first right? Season, yeah. So it's um, it's very much still getting used to it. Yeah. Um, and things. It's a, a bigger header than that we've had. So we were on 25 foot last time. Uh, we're now on 30 foot. We were short sure walker last time. We're now rotary. So it's a completely different machine yeah. to, to what we previously had. Um, as our, our previous massive bergs and combines, it's yeah, completely different. So it's quite a lot to get used to. It, absolutely, yeah, right. absolutely. So you just mentioned there your previous one, that was a Massey as well, was it? It was, yeah. Um, our last, I think, yeah, the, everyone I've had for my career, they've all been Masseys. So I think I started with a 29, 34, um, then we on to the Syria and then the Santora um, previous to this, so yeah. And uh, obviously, well, we touched upon it already, you know, one of the biggest reasons going forward the Ideal 7 was, you know, capacity. Uh, what other sort of reasons, you know, what was your kind of priorities on that list of things, you know, must-haves, what was on there when you were choosing a combine? I think it was kind of a combination of things, a lot of the little niggles that we had with the previous one. 